to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And he's tackled after positive yardage. goes at about the 31. They just inch past the marker. Yeah, it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football. see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. He's at midfield. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and six. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. Check Mike 34. Mike 34. Let's go! Green 19! Green 19! And he's tackled at the 41. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at the 32. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. He's scrambling. This one's going deep to the end zone. And he will score. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. Once he gets those Jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop it. And he converts the extra point. A nice nine play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7-0. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. The Rockets and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. First Fakes to the back. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Yard line. That makes it first and ten. He 
steps out at the 44. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. And he has it on the corner. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out, because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Number two, the That's good for a game of five yards. That brings up second and five. On the run, tackle right around the 16-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. Brought down at the 16-yard line. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there. And the defense this time wins the battle. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He pitches it, and they make the stop at the 19. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy, or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game? He goes out of bounds at the 23-yard line. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang-bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. Mississippi State is up by a touchdown. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Tackle made at the 16. Number 40 takes him down for a loss behind the line at the 16-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and 13. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackled after a decent pickup. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. First down. Right hand Boston. Reset, He makes his way to about the 38. That makes it first and 10. He's at the 30, and he snags that one. That makes it second and two. to his tight end, nothing doing. That's the kind of field vision you want out of your linebackers. They have to play well in coverage, and they have to be able to break up pass plays. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Watch the run, watch the run. A 
tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7-0, Bulldog. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Let's go, Mike 50. Mike 50. Cut. Big play, and it's first and goal. Two times, two times. That makes it first and goal. They've been stopped short down here the last two trips. And he hits him hard at the three. That brings him second and goal. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Check it. It's the tailback. And down he goes, just outside the goal line. That's a final two on the ball. That makes it third and goal. Touchdown, Toledo. Will be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT, a 10-play, 64-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. in the open. He's tackled with a 38-yard line. He's at midfield. by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Gets to about the 27-yard line, and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That's a nice play there by the sophomore out of the corner. He read the run and stepped up and made a nice tackle. Fires it out. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. down and they need to get it down to the 20. A huge play and now they're in a great position to score. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. Quick to an open man, he dropped it. Number eight was the intended receiver on the way. From the seven yard line. Second down. job by the defense at getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled fourth down 
They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Mississippi State could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That's good for the game the First down. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second and 10. Ball on the 43. He passes it. Got him again. He's hit and taken down. First down. Mike, 50, Mike, 50. Crunch time, defense. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That'll make it second and inches. Quick throw out to the receiver. That makes it first and ten. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. He's wrapped up for the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. And this play is number eight on the drive. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. That's a loss of five yards. That makes it third and goal. Third and goal, and they can already taste the lead. Here comes the pressure. Got his receiver, but it's knocked down. Toledo is looking to tie things up. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Delivers to the halfback on the screen, and he tackles him hard at the 27-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 27. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. Flushed out, and he's going to get sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. Booming kick. 
And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. Kirk, we've seen this safety make a statement today. You know, you hear a lot of coaches talk about a ball hawk. Well, this is a classic example of a young man that just has a feel who always seems to be able to make plays for this defense. And he's done just a tremendous job of just being involved in a lot of plays today. And to think he's racked up these stats in one half is really something. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Hey, 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 alert, alert. Mike's Mike's Out of bounds, right around the 28-yard line. A pickup of about three. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. They run it for the first, and he stops. That's not going to move the sticks. Yeah, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting them get into any kind of rhythm. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. So we got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's on the run. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Scrambling around, and he's going to come up with a sack. Call it a loss of five yards on the way. That'll make it 39. From their own 31-yard line, third down. They're going to be forced to punt away here. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He really got a hold of that one. Fielded at the 19. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. Toledo's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 31-yard line. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. This one is incomplete. So at the end of the half, and a 10-10 tie in this game. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. You got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe you get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
And they can forget about returning this one. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. And now he's got room to run. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Good for a gain of six yards. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Hey, hey, check, check. Mike 50, Mike 50. Down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop around the 25-yard line. That's a good field game at 36 yards. First down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Game of seven on the play. That makes it second and two. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Call the game of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. Set, two, 14. Slings it. He steps out around the six-yard line. Receiver for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A nice eight play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now 17 10. Toledo to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rockets continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets it. He's in space. Inside the 30. Tackle made at the 11. Tackle right around the two yard line. to the end zone and it's caught touchdown he stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout yep good job of protection and the quarterback spotted his man the extra point to tie this game up and he converts the extra point so a short three-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive.
And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Number 14 on the tackle at the 35-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Get this one off, and it's a beauty. Brought down at the 35 yard line. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game? Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. That makes it second and two. They'll bring him down at the 40. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. They're about four yards away here on third down. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 34. Mike, let's go. Green 19. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And down he goes at the 39. And a quick throw. Brought down right around the 32 yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it second and two. Fires out to his wideout, and he is drilled at the 25. After positive yardage. He's tackled at about the 17 yard line. Call it a game. That'll bring up 32. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. So it's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Mississippi State is looking to go up by three. It's up, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. Number 37 brings him down at the 28-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Down! Bruins! Bruins! Gives it to the back. And he's stopped behind the line. That's a good one. Third down.
Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's out of bounds around the 43-yard line. Short over the middle, and he's level at the 45-yard line. Man, left, man, left. Down, down. Hey, First down. 50, Mike's 50. Down. Blue 14. Blue 14. Cut. Gonna go across the middle. Caught. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. Mississippi State's got a three-point lead. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Key 81, key 81. Go, Mike. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That'll make it second and one. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Caught open field. He's taken down at about the 31. And he's tackled right away. That's a That makes it first and ten. Try to run it inside and hammer down. Quick pass, and he's taken down at about the 13. And he's tackled around the three yard line. That brings him second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the three yard line. And he tackles him hard at the four. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. The quarterback just made that one look pretty simple. Well, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. He makes the PAT. Toledo kicked this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's under some heat, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Call it a loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. What was that? They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They come out in a five-wide set. 
Now he tries to buy some time. He's out to the 30. He's taken off. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Green 90, 90. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Complete. He's got room. Tackle right around the 28-yard line. Five wide. Fires it out. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Bring him down around the 16-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's scrambling. They bring him down. And the senior steps up and comes away with a crucial sack. Yeah, this game is coming down to the wire, and I don't think the O-line could have given up a sack at a worse time. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Ready! They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they push him out at about the nine yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Ready! Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Touchdown, and they take the lead. Big time touchdown right there. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Toledo staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. Makes it out to about the 40. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Going right, intercepted. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From their own 40-yard line. First down. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 46. I think the defense is starting to be concerned about the outcome of this game. That was a huge first down by the offense. And at this point, you wonder if the defense can make a play to get their own offense back out on the field. Nice run there. Solid five-yard pickup there on the halfback option. The Rockets use their second timeout. Runs outside for a nice game. Brad, that's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big factor. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. Four down, four down. Ready! Green 
They give to the tailback, and they'll bring him down behind the line. These corners are showing that they're not afraid to come up and make a hit. Even if they aren't playing pass, they know how to disrupt the play. Toledo staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.